I did not I did not uh, contact us like the first place. They contacted me uh, while I came here in the fall. I I actually asked them in my final interview as a follow up question how often they really Elon Musk <laughs> visit will I get to really see him in person or something. Hi Rivant, welcome to the Yocket Connect series. First of all, thanks a lot for giving us your time for this series. It means a lot to us. Can we begin understanding what has your background been like? Sure. Uh, hi, Shonak, and I'm pleased to be here interviewing you. Uh, so, uh, I completed my bachelor's degree from uh, BJTI uh, in Mumbai. Uh, that, that is affiliated to the University of Mumbai. I did in B. I did BTEC in production engineering. And uh, after that, I worked for three years at TBS Motor Company, uh, which is India's largest motorcycle manufacturer, as a manufacturing engineer. Uh, while working at TBS, I uh, wanted to, you know, explore more and, uh, you know, uh, work for the industry and, you know, explore more in the automotive space. So uh, I thought that, uh, you know, why not upgrade my skill set and. Uh, come to us for the masters so that's how i uh, you know got inspiration working in the factory and i applied for various industrial engineering programs in the us uh, and one of my uh, admissions was university of michigan ann arbor which was my uh, like a dream school that is why i chose to come here uh, in the fall of 2021 yeah and now i have completed like a year so far Uh, and it has been great if i have to ask you to sum up this entire one year in one word what would that be ecstatic uh, i think uh, this one word would be ecstatic because you know it has i i have seen a lot of uh, like a lot of ups and downs during the academics and you know job search and applications getting into school landing here you know figuring out stuff so but at the end when you get the reward uh, i mean uh, that's great i feel that i uh, come here with like a lot of happiness and you know uh, that's how i feel uh, you know that's why i feel like ecstatic now that you are a very fresh admit you know you have went in fall 2021 which is a very fresh admit you know i mean before this the only admit that has happened is spring 22 which is not a very famous intake uh, for most of the students so i want to understand from you you know when you started off in 2020 for this entire application process uh, which was the most challenging step in that entire process according to you yeah so i think the most challenging step was to uh... get the letter of recommendations and you know draft that actually or you know discuss to choose who would be my recommender recommenders and you know approaching them since i was uh, i was i i was working in uh, karnataka and then latin america for a couple of uh, time so you know the most challenging aspect of that was actually to coordinate and get that thing sent it to the university because that is the because it's, the recommenders don't send it on time uh my whole application would like go in vain so that is why that was the most challenging part for me yeah uh i want to understand what was your reaction or what did you feel within when you saw that mail from university of michigan saying that you have got the admit at that exact moment what were the feelings going on inside yeah i was actually on the top of my world uh uh for the after the mail i for the next two days i was so happy that i was actually spreading my happiness to everyone actually because uh uh i did not expect that i would receive an admission because i had received rejection from the universities uh, like two or three uh, positions below that so i'll tell you what university uh, universities i had uh, applied for i had i had admit from u of m i had admit from purdue uh Texas A&M uh, University of Wisconsin Madison and North Carolina State University for industrial engineering so in fact Penn State had re- rejected me uh, also so that was that was an expected admission but they had rejected me so i don't know what happened to that so when U of M uh, accepted me i was like uh, very happy and i was like okay this is what i want to go for uh, there were some second thoughts because uh, actually the 
course fees are uh, very high at you open it is actually almost two times as of the regular normal uh, course work so i had i had to do a lot thinking or something like that but since uh, i went for the prestige and i really i really i'm glad that i came i chose that yeah so okay. about tesla you know you have managed to successfully get an internship at tesla which happens to be the most valuable car brand in the world today so how did that happen i did not i did not uh, contact tesla at the first place they contacted me uh, while i came here in nepal so they actually contacted me for a full time opportunity but at that time i was not available so i said that i am looking for internship then they gave me the uh, contact information of the uh, internship recruiter and they said that uh, so we can't uh, really help you with the emailing and the stuff so you just have to apply it online on the careers website it's, if someone would be interested they would actually get in get in touch with you. so that 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 was a bit uh, in september of 21 so after that i applied uh, using my resume on the portal i didn't hear back from them them for like about 6 months uh because uh, i don't know the reason but after 6 months someone called that hey we are interested in your profile and we would like to interview uh that's how uh i got in like touch with tesla something like that <laughs> the interview was pretty challenging uh i must say they really tried to you know uh, create uh, an environment uh, of uh, you know how i would perform at the best of my capacity by asking some challenging questions from my resume as well as uh, from the uh, job description so i am i am i am going to intern in the supply chain team uh, at tesla uh, at palo alto so they asked me like a lot of technical questions behavioral questions my experiences and you know how they relate to the job description and specific questions related to my resume yeah it was pretty challenging So uh, I am going in as a supplier industrialization engineer intern. Uh, this is a part of a supply chain team, and I would be working uh, on supplier quality uh, and design for manufacturing and uh, introducing new products at the supplier end of the Tesla manufacturing processes. So these will be my uh, three duties. Uh, so tomorrow is my first day, so I really. Uh, i have to just go and start there uh, but yeah these are the three main roles which i would be looking at a supplier uh, industrialization engineer it, it's like a i think it's said as the headquarters it, it's like a office space so elon musk office is there in palo alto yeah so he he will visit he will visit i think uh, i i actually asked them in my final interview as a follow up question how often they really elon musk Was it will I get to really see him in person or something? Then they said that I mean, yeah, maybe once in a quarter he visits or he gives like a employee address or something like that. So yeah, I I think I would be able to see him sometime. How has your experience at University of Michigan been like till now? Uh, yeah. Are you finding the course challenging? Is it easier than you thought? Is it overwhelming? Sure. Uh, so uh, I think U of M. the years the year which i spent at u of m last year has been one of the best years in my life i think uh, i have i have grown as an individual in academics as well as in personal front uh the courses uh, which i took are related to manufacturing supply chain optimization and data analytics they are uh, they were uh, like fairly challenging i think i had to work day in and day out continuously for uh, while the semester was on uh there was no room for break because i decided to complete uh, the course in three semesters instead of four uh so next semester would be my last semester uh so i had taken more credits than a regular college student should could take in one uh, semester so that's why i it was pretty challenging uh you know one thing what helped me was uh having study groups or uh, you know having going to office hours uh that was uh, something which helped me to you know sail through the entire thing so i actually managed to get a uh, 4 gpa that is out of out in the four, first two semesters so i had to work for that i had to work continuously and uh, you know uh, submit everything on time you know having uh, uh, you know keeping the consistency helped me a lot in your growth and 
yeah apart from that apart from academics there are there were a lot of things like there is like a huge the united states largest football stadium is in uh, university of michigan and uh, i went to like two matches and that was like uh, amazing time so yeah the fun aspect is also great at yoga definitely did yeah. you use yoket anywhere in this experience yeah yeah i would like to uh, you know personally thank uh, the whole yoket team and tumul for you know uh, actually bringing me here uh, and interviewing me and i used yoket from very first day of my uh, masters application and i think even now i am up for you know mentoring or something like that actually until now so i found my roommate on yoket i also uh, started comparing profiles and i set my target gre and tofl score through yoket i uh, i connected with a lot of individuals in the same field to understand what they actually what the university actually require so it's like a great app and you know it has a lot it has lots of resources which i uh, used uh, like continuously day in and day out for like almost one year while i was uh, applying uh, you know because it's not just about clearing the exam it is also about how you craft your sob how you you know and even after you get the admit Uh, how you actually you know transition smoothly from india to us and successfully so that all those things yoket was very helpful for me and really thank you very much for you know helping all the students and uh, the vision is very like powerful and i think yoket will go uh, way far uh, so like share and subscribe to yoket and uh, always keep rocking <laughs>